Morning, morning, morning. This is Paul from AAC. Today we're going to be talking about a new range of aquariums from Fragbox TV, Reef Casa. So in March's words, welcome reefing fan. I know many of you are huge frag box TV fans as I am. I've spent a little bit of time with Mark recently, as some of you might have noticed, and he done a fantastic shop uh, review of AAC when he came over last year. So we've been talking quite a bit, March and I, and we're going to try and bring Reef Casa to the UK. This episode of Frag Box TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. So this particular model that Mark sent us is the Studio 12. Uh, and the Studio 12 has dimensions that are 15 inches front to back, 16 inches left to right, and 11 inches tall. We're thinking about setting this one up for a mangrove aquarium. Um, but the whole concept of these is either to be used as either a Pico like Nano type style, or uh, the later range that he's bringing out, which we should see soon, are the ready frag ones. And what with the advent of a few more shows out there, we think that these could become perhaps what everyone's been waiting for, a cheap way of, uh, say, taking your little frags to a show or something along those lines. So we're showing a bit of interest at the moment, uh, but we just thought we would uh, show you around the aquarium and what you've got. And I mean, obviously, March put this little package together especially for me. So along with the aquariums, the other thing that uh, March is looking into at Fragbox, uh, along the Reef Casa line as well, are uh, accessories that come with it. Uh, one of the things that he's uh, been developing uh, is the, a new refractometer. But boy, this thing is heavy. And heavy with refractometers means quality. A heavy refractometer um, is one that is uh, ferociously accurate because of the amount of metals that's used in it to temperature compensate. I mean, a nice little case, um, and you never know, we might even raffle these ones off at some stage. This is one signed by a March, and we've got Tia as well, which of course features in all of those frag box videos, and everyone loves Tia. So yeah, they're also doing a range of accessories that uh, will come either with the aquariums or without the aquariums, but this little one, for example, comes with a pack of uh, filter floss, and it's really nicely done because it's all cut into little squares for you. Yeah, so you can see, like there's a perfect little square, and that fits over in here where the plate is and it just fits down on there like that it's very very nicely made he's also doing some uh, activated carbon and there's also a little thermometer that he's got a uh, bram reef casser as well um, but being canadian you know for some reason <laughs> he sent me uh, a pump which has got this on the end of it it marches work towards uh, getting some new pumps made for the uk market as well but temporary we'll probably use a little e -heim. i would expect to see later models of the reef casa coming with a uk plugged item another nice little touch as well that comes in with a studio 12 kit that he sent me was this little reef casa flow generator it's a nice simple system there's nothing to it basically you've got like a, a mechanical filtration section you've got a bit of biomedia section there and then you've got your return pump and of course your heater goes in the back but we love it so we thought that we would uh, set this up like i said a little while earlier as a mangrove type aquarium might do some rock flower and enemies in it that sort of thing a very very affordable pretty little aquarium i'm hoping at some stage to get over and see march and maybe explore some of the more models and some other ideas with him but if you uh, really you know think that these would work then maybe leave some comments below and of course I know it all depends on price it depends on that air freight remember I've got to get these from Canada to the UK but I know that March has received some inquiries from some residents in the UK so if you're uh, interested in the idea by all means contact us and maybe you know first shipment we might be able to do some discounts on the first one just to see how it goes
Yeah, so we put in there uh, some feather duster worms, some non photosynthetic corals as well, some sponges, some hardy blue sponge, and there's also a little bit of orange jagger sponge in there, a few rock flower anemones as well. But it's a week later or two weeks later since I started the film, and you can see already the mangroves have settled in lovely. Uh, might sort of trim them down soon. Uh, we've got a beautiful. Uh, jumbo snake polyp in there some yellow polyps as well a beautiful purple feather duster with gold a nice little anemone crab living in a rock flower anemone uh, so yeah it's coming on really really lovely we're very very pleased still fishless at the moment we've just got this one little uh, anemone crab in there we might choose to include like a little blenny species maybe one of the caribbean south in blennies which should suit this quite nicely and won't need a cover they're not so jumpy as perhaps a goby species would be so if you want to see reef casser in the uk uh, maybe leave some comments see what you think but uh, we're estimating these to be very very cheap these are going to be nowhere near the price of a lot of other nanos we hope going to be considerably less uh, we're hoping we might get a preliminary pallet of small aquariums just to see how they go. And uh, well, anyway, we look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, just before we leave you, one of the things I wanted to show is a nice little note there from uh, dear Paul in Geordie Aquarium, Reef Casser Aquarium, all our love tier and March. But also, I get postcodes like this one. Look at that. Now, that is not family friendly, is it? March, I'm doing your finger. Look. That's not family friendly.